na vile Mungu ametusetia standard ya kukommunicate kama wa Kristo. Na kuna vitu kadhaa nataka uelewe leo. Najua ya kwamba unajua maandiko inasema that your tongue has power of life and death. Na mara nyingi wakati unasikia hiyo neno, unasikianga kwa sababu unaambiwa do not confess negative because your tongue has power of life and death. But I want you to understand this morning the tongue that you are carrying in your mouth is so powerful that it can destroy someone else's destiny and life as well. I want you to understand there are people who are depressed today. There are people who are stressed today. There are people who are hopeless today. There are people who cannot even power. They don't have even power to stand. Even their audacity to speak because someone used their tongues to torment their lives. Listen. When you raise your children in an environment that you are not praising them, you are not thanking them. You are not telling them how good they are. You are not praising their little achievement, even just washing your utensils. There is something you are doing in the hearts of those children because your tongue can build a destiny from that children, those children. Watoto ambao wametiwa moyo, wamepewa shukurani. Watoto ambao wakifanya vizuri shule, wanaambia well done. That was great. That was nice. You are beautiful. You are glorious. You are going far. You are a great man. You are a great woman. When you use your tongue well, every child that has been encouraged in their childhood, they face life with confidence. I don't know if I'm communicating. Watoto wote wale wamito watoto wengine leo hawawezi wakasimama mbele za watu. Kwa sababu hata wakati walitenda mazuri, wazazi wao hawakuwaambia. Kwa maana ulitumia tu mdomo yako kuweka discipline lakini sio ku encourage hiyo ulimi imebeba inaweza vunja atma ya mtu sijui kama tuna communicate mkinyamaza hivyo sielewi kama tunasikia uh, are we together are we together unaona watu wale wako na confidence wale wanasimamanga mbele za watu wanasema my name is so and so na wanaongea na ujasiri walilelewa na wazazi walitumia ulimi zao vizuri za kuambia wacha nikwambie wewe ni wewe ni mtu wa maana lakini watoto wale walilelewa tu kwa viboko kwa nini umegusa kwa nini umesimama kwa nini umechelewa kwa nini umevaa kwa ni, yani wakadelelewa na discipline hata katika maisha hii hawakuangi na confidence na ile worst kabisa hawakuangi hata na confidence na Mungu kwa sababu Mungu amebea jina ya nani ya baba so the tongue that you are carrying I want you to understand the Bible says it carries life and death and let me tell you something that is happening today God is not happy on how we are using our tongues against others God and Taksomea the book of James chapter 3 I don't know what happened to the to the projector today but I know it is going to be okay praise the Lord listen the tongue you are carrying some of us today they are the words that were spoken to us by the authorities of our lives your father told you you can never get married your mother told you you are stupid your teacher in school told you you can never be anything people who are not conscious on how they are using their tongues they destroy other people's lives and god has sent me to you today how do you use your tongue? The Bible says it is a small thing. Let me read it in, in the book of uh, Timothy. Let's, uh, James, James chapter 3. Very fast. Let's go to James chapter 3. Uh -huh, from verse 1. James chapter 3. Let's go there. Uh, God has sent me today with a word. That God wants you to begin using your tongue well. Because that tongue is not going to only profit you. But he's going to profit even those ones that are around you. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, verse 1, my brethren, in James chapter 3, verse 1, my brethren, 
Let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. For we all stumble. Tell your neighbor, we all stumble. We all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able to bridle the whole body. <laughs> the Bible says, Ati kama wewe haufanyi makosa na haka kaulimikako na maneno zako, wewe ni mtu perfect. Na unaweza simama na simamisha viungo vyako vyote vya mwili. Ni kumanisha ya kwamba ulimi wako kamau, inaditamine baka mawazo yako, baka feelings zako na emotion yako. Na watu wengine hapa leo, wamebeba tu vitu zinaitwa self-imposed cases. Shetani anajua nguvu ambazo ziko kwenye ulimi wako. Kila saa unajilani. Unasema hata nilijua hata niliambiwa na teacher Odongo niliambiwa mimi siwezi olewa sinanga hata hiyo tamaa unaendelea kujiroga unaona hii ulimi umebeba maandiko inasema ukiweza ku control unakuwa a perfect person <laughs> inakuletea perfection bwana asifiwe sana ukiweza ku control ulimi kwa watoto wako inapatia watoto wako perfection ukiweza Watu wengi hata leo wameharibu ndoa zao na ulimi wao. Unasikia mtu ameoa na alioa vizuri. Lakini unasikia kutoka kwa mdogo wake anasema, "Mimi wakati nilikuwa na kuoa mama Rosie nilikuwa tu najua nimefanya mistake." Kwa sababu nika kiungo kadogo watu hawazingati sana. Lakini kameharibu maisha ya watu. Maisha yako binafsi maisha ya watoto wako hata biashara hapa kuna zingine zimedraishwa na yako kaulimi umebeba kama kauka biashara yako umetia bidii umetia bidii na we mwenyewe tukikuuliza biashara inaendelea aje unatuambia vile hata naiona ni kama ndafunga na unajua mara nyingi hatukonsidi ulimi bwana asifiwe Utatukana watoto wako kwa asira. Kuna asira zingine they are very demonic. Very demonic. Yaani unapandwa na asira dakika tano uongee mambo itakukosi miaka kuivunja. Unauliza bwanako nilikutoa wapi wewe? Mbona unakaa kama ndugu ya shetani? Yaani unaongea. Una yaani kwa dakika tano umeita bwana yako Lucifer. Umeita bibi yako Jezebel, you demonic spirits. Tena unataka mwishi na demonic spirit it is not going to be easy na ndio kwa maana biblia inasema shetani anatu accuse day and night na unajua anatustaki na nini na maneno ya vinywa vyetu hata alisema aezi enda mbali mungu kwa nini unampeleka mbali kuna watu hapa wali hapa wakati waliona mama yao wakipigwa na baba yao katika ndoa waka hapa wakasema mimi sitawaiolewa sasa umefikisha 35 unaona maana ya kuolewa Unajua watu kama hao hata wakiponea chupu chupu waolewe shetani ufuata ndoa zao ndani Anaambia Mungu na mbona ulipatia Mr. Mule bibi na alisema ako vizuri peke yake ati yeye ni Yunak <laughs> Na hiyo ndoa inaanza kutingizwa kwa sababu Mungu anapatia mpaka shetani justice Unajua kuna watu wanajiita ma Yunaks Ati mimi hata wacha nikwambie mimi mimi eri tu nifike binguni mambo ya dunia i don't want watu wale usema mambo ya dunia hawatakagi hata pesa hawakuangi nayo juni ya dunia niko na watu kama hawa hapo ati oh kwanza unatakaga tu wimbo salama rohoni yani unaambia tu watu wapendwa chungeni roho zenu praise the lord tutachunga roho na bado tunataka kukula Chunguza watu wale walokole wa zamani hata wimbo za wanokole za zamani nilienda kikuyu land si kitambo nikaanza kusikia present worship wanaimba nikaona hawa hawakuangi duniani wakimaliza wimbo moja ya binguni wanaenda wimbo moja ya nitie moyo nifike salama yani wako tu wako tu kwa barabara ya mbinguni yani hao wajawahi shuka wapate nyumba za kuishi Na ndio kwa maana watu leo wanateseka. Ukianza kusema ati mimi wapendwa, Bwana asifiwe sana. Eh, niko kwenye barabara ya mbinguni na ngojea parapanda. 
watu wale wanangojea parapanda bila maisha ingine awape wangu nyumba Siju kama nasema kitu so <laughs> na wale walitunga nyimbo za kikikuyu Mungu awabariki Wakimaliza tu guito guito kwega guito nema twine guito Sasa ukianza kusema konyu kuzuri tu ni mbinguni si utaishi kwa makaratasi Bwana asifiwe Unajua hata kuna pambio zinafaa kuimbwa unanyamaza Kwa maana nilikuja kuona pambio zingine kama au na unaona huyo mtu mpaka ametoa viatu na hata ana viatu za maana zinacheka wito huyo mtu anaishi heaven huku ni kukaa kitafuta vile atatomokea aende mbinguni huko na unajua Mungu akijua unangojea kuchomokea wewe hata kupatia hata nyumba ya kuishi kuna watu hata maombi yao inastuanga Mungu oh Mungu nipetu chakula ya leo bas bas utaishi na hiyo maombi kila siku utaitisha ya leo the bible says that we shall live in we shall eat in plenty and we shall multiply so hii ulimi ilitumika hata enzi we kwanza mi sijui sijui lugha zingine kabila zingine kwa sababu mimi najua tu wakikuu ndo nimekaa na wao kidogo Mukikuyu akishika ngoma hivi anze kupiga. Anaanza kulia akidisconnect na dunia. Unaona tu hiyo ni machozi ya disconnection. Wanasema vile dunia ina, ina mashetani mingi. Eh? Kama uko na zingine hebu tuimbie moja. I want it. <laughs> zingine mimi sijui zilitoka wapi napendwa. Na we pia unaimba unaanza kutoa machozi. Unajua wimbo za mbinguni zina machozi yake vyake. Unaanza kusikia. I remember when my sister died. My sister died on 27th of December. Tukiwa home on 25th kuna wimbo aliimba ya kikuyu. Na alisimama ye mwenyewe akatuongoza. Inaimbwa Oho rawa moyo ditha ganagia akaanza wale wanahitaji interpretation uone charity <laughs> watakuinterpretia kuna mahali alitoa machozi kabisa then ye waitora hana getu aba yako huru kuone theru ruhana taregeshi ye alikuwa safika na akaona hiyo kiti na akaona hiyo mto akaona wacha tuishie acha tuende kwa hiyo mti na si mbaya kwa sababu ni mzuri lakini unaachia watoto wako nani kama wanasema ati anataka kuandika tenzi zingine ya kikuyu <laughs> so ulimi wako kuna kuna mahali wapendwa itafika mahali katika maisha yetu mtu akikwambia repeat after me before you repeat you listen wale watu wa repeat after me wako wapi hapa wanapenda kusikia my father my father hata utaki kujua father anaambua nini my father hebu <laughs> nukati wa neva tell you never ever wale unafuataga kwa social media wanakuambia useme nini saa hii unaona hiyo ulimi uko nayo nitakusomea hiyo ulimi uko nayo imebeba uzima hii ulimi ni kitu ya kuchunga kila mahali unaenda ukitembewa wakati mmoja nilikuwa nimetoka maombi ya muda mrefu do you know hiyo wakati roho mtakatifu alikuwa amenikataza kuongea sheng sheng unajua sheng ati unasikiaje niko tu mbrrrcha <laughs> no wewe unajua inamaanisha nini wewe unataka kutuonyesha wewe ni wakileo wewe ni wakisasa ni aje poa fiti yani unataka kutu... lakini sometimes ukae chini ujiulize hebu mtu anipatie sheng moja latest morio unaitwa na mtu morio mbogi unaelea unaelea hii ako kamdomo shetani sahii amekatumia hapa tunaongea sahii hapa 
kuna watu maisha yao haujarogwa no haujarogwa na mtu atindie upati pesa hakuna hata mtu amekulaani ni wewe tu kutaja maneno hauielewi atisema ta 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 na wewe kutu ta yani unafikiri ni, ni ta. Ebu ambie jirani yako jirani kuanzia leo unaona ako kaulimi ukianza kukatumia vizuri Disemba utakuwa na gari yako pale Praise the Lord Let me read it for you Tell your neighbor neighbor bless me bless me bless me bless me Eh hiyo mdomo isitiririke bitu za ajabu ajabu. The Bible says in verse 3, indeed we put bits in horses mouth that they may obey us and we turn their whole bodies. <clears throat> Look also at sheep. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce wind, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires. Even so, the turn is a little member and those great things see how great a forest a little fire kindles and the tongue is a fire it is what it is what umesikia example vile nakupatia ya vile tunageuzanga eh hata kangombe ama kitu na na ka ka kadogo tu ama vile tu meli inageuzwa na rada tu biblia nasema so is your tongue a little member and both great things see how great a forest hmm? a little fire kindles kamoto kadogo uliona moto ya australia ilianza tu mahali padogo kamoto kadogo kakachoma karibu msitu yote ya australia maandiko ikilinganisha ulimi wako na kitu kama hiyo siuogope siuogope and the tongue is a fire a world of iniquity the tongue is, is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body, my goodness, and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by hell. Ati inafanya nini? Ina defiles the whole body, na inachoma msitu mzima. We umewa yona moto kwa ulimi, but mungu alieka moto. Bwana sifiwe. Verse 7 in a sema, for every kind of beast and bird of reptiles and creatures of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. It is unruly evil, full of deadly poison. <laughs> with it, we bless our God and the Father. And with it, we curse men who have been made in the stimulate of God, out of the mouth proceed blessing and curses, my brethren. This thing ought not to be so. Now, the Bible is clear that this tongue carries fire. This tongue can burn the whole bush. The Bible is clear this tongue is poisonous. The word of God says, the tongue that you are worshipping God with is the same tongue you are cursing your brothers. And I realize there are people who Satan sits on their the tongues. Kuna demonic spirits zinakaanga tu kwa ulimi wa watu. I was told of a lady that one time walikosana na bwana yake. Na bwana yake alikuwa na shamba kubwa na huyo mama ameokoka na anaongea in tongues nataka nikufundishe kitu leo uelewe hiyo ulimi yako ukiweza kuicontrol uta control the rest of your life bwana asifiwe hiyo ulimi yako uki... saa hii kuna vitu zinaitwa self imposed curses wewe mwenyewe ukilaani ndoa yako mimi siwezi kuiponya wewe mwenyewe ukilaani watoto wako mimi siwezi kuwaponya ni wewe wewe ulie laani Utalipa gharama ya kuwalaunua kama kuna jina kama hiyo. Huyo mama bwanake alikuwa tajiri. Alikuwa na shamba 20 acres amepanda machungwa. Na hiyo ndio kazi alikuwa anafanya. Machungwa zimeiva. 
Machungwa ziko karibu zimebakisha kama wiki moja kuvunwa. Wakakosana na bwana yake. Akaamka asubuhi. Akaenda kwa shamba. Nataka nikuonyeshe hiyo ulimi yako leo tunaiombea mpaka ikutii. Jo hiyo ulimi unaweza ongea nazo vitu za maana na zitendeke maishani mwako. Hebu jiangalie mkikaa na rafiki yako, eh mnaongeanga nini? Maisha ni ngumu. Unajua siku hizi hata ukitaka kuongea negative, unasikia ni kama roho anakushika koti. Kwa sababu kaulimi kako na nguvu na kamejaa poison na kanaweza ua, kanaweza laani. Do you know wale watu huombea watu mabaya wanakufa? Hao hawaingiangi mbinguni kwa sababu ni madaras. Hiyo ulimi yako inaweza kumada watu hiyo unaiona. Ujaua mtu na mkono umemuua na ulimi. Na watu wote wamewaiombea watu wakakufa unangojewa binguni na kesi ya mada. Hapa kujifanya hero hapa, ati mimi sicheze wangu. Mimi mtu akinichezea nafinya. <laughs> Una makesi. Mama mmoja alikuwa tunatembea na yeye kwa barabara. Nikamuonyesha mali nikamwambia unajua mama wa iploti. Hapendi tuchimbe mlango. Akaniambia Zainab, dunia hii wewe unaweza kusumbuliwa na mtu si unafinya. Nikamuuliza kufinya ni kwani si unamtuma kwa baba. <laughs> Nikaona watu ambao wanatuma watu kwa baba ni wengi kanisani. But murder charges are waiting for you. Ule mama kwa asira nataka nikuonyeshe vile umearibu maisha yako na kwambia kweli ukichilani ulaani watoto wako ulaani ndoa yako ulaani biashara yako kwa maana hii umebeba maandiko inasema imebeba life na imebeba death na ni moto na ni poison it depends with how you want to use it Ule mama alisimama kwa shamba kwa sababu unakosana na bwana yako na kukosana inakuanga. Ujue shetani anataka kukutumia. Hapa kama umewahi uwa mtu usiende bila kuniona. Tukuondolee hiyo mashtaka mbinguni. Otherwise utashangaa ulikuwa hapo unatutisha. Mimi cheze wangu wapendwa. Ni mimi umeongelesha hivyo. We will meet in the realm of the spirit. You are a witch. You are a wizard. <laughs> Hebu look at your neighbor tell your neighbor neighbor. <laughs> umewahi huwa mtu perhaps umewahi huwa mtu tu. Tukusaidie kwa sababu <laughs> uko na murder cases. <laughs> Muulize umewahi huwa biashara ya mtu wewe ukasema tu ati amekuja kufungua duka. Hey, tutaona. Umewahi huwa biashara ya mtu akiwa anauza chaini zake ukasema hizo ni yeye atavaa. <laughs> Kuna mtu ameua biashara ya mtu hapa? ukaona watu wanaoana ukasema it will end with premium what alafu akiwachana unasema si niliwaambia niliona msana mmoja ametolewa kwa group ya harusi kwa sababu ameingizwa akasema nene it will end with tears wachawi wako hapa ni vile wakuja kanisani leo a a si hapa weka mau wachawi wako hapa wewe hii ni kanisa takatifu. Ule mama akakasirika dakika tano wamerushiana manaba akasema nini mimi unaongelesha hivyo tutapambana. Akaenda kwa shamba asubuhi. Kasimama kwa shamba iko karibu ku 20 acres of oranges zimeiva. Akaweka mikono hivi. Akasema nimekuamrisha ukauke mpaka kwa mizizi. Two weeks later Hakukuwa na kitu ilikuwa na uhai. Na aka mimi sicheze wangu. Tunakaa hapa. Unaongeanga nini na hiyo kitu umebeba kwa mdomo yako? Unasemeanga watu nini? Unaongeleshaanga. Kwa maana kuna watu wanapenda kujiongelesha. Sasa ile unaoga unajiongeleshaanga aje? Unajua shetani anakutumianga sasa zile ufikiri sana maneno ile unaongea. Wacha niwapatie story nitendekea juzi. <laughs> Tulikuwa tunaomba na bishop usiku. Na tukawa ni very late na ni mimi naombesha. Nikawa nimetulia kuombesha. Do you know how I prayed my brothers and sisters? <laughs> Nikaomba vizuri alafu nikafika mahali. <laughs> Nikasema nina <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> what? Nasikia kucheka kwa sababu nilia nilistuka na bishop akanichekelea sana. Nikaomba vizuri, nikaomba alafu nikasema ninaombea tenants wetu wote na maduka yetu yote. Hai. Nikafungua macho. Bishop akaniuliza tenants wako wapi? Nikamwambia hata mimi nimestuka tenants. Unaona vile unapelekangwa? So labda ningeenda kwa tenants, nitembee kwa tenants na maduka, nianze kujilaani. Maombi haitakangi kuombwa kama uko kwa usingizi. Usikule ugali kwanza ndio useme and now <laughs> we can now pray. <laughs> we can now pray fata. Utaanza kulaani watoto wako. Kwa maana unajua kaulimi kana kana hantiwa kaongee vitu. Ndio kwa maana unafaa kukua intentional na maneno yako. Can you imagine mimi nikiomba naombea tenants na mimi sinanga tenants. Na sinanga maduka ni zilikuwa zimetoka wapi? Nikastuka nikanyamaza haraka. Na imagine sijalala. Niko Father we want to thank you for that glory. Tukaenda pole pole nikasema and all the tenants and the shops and nika Sasa hiyo bishop alikuwa amepasua kweli kweli. Akaniuliza kae wote tu ara na ulikuwa unatupeleka wapi? Nikumaanisha hata wakati hauchichui shetani atatumia ulimi wako. Usicheze na ulimi. Ule mama alilaani shamba ya bwana yake na akaringa. Acheze wangu. Akakosana na mtu kwa duka. Na mnajua kukosana ni kawaida mkiwa kwa duka zinakaribiana. Kwa nini umefagilia takataka kwangu na wewe kwa nini umemwaga maji? Si unajua kuna shetani wa kutaka watu wawili wasikae kwa amani. Alisimama kwa duka nikiambiwa na akasema akaambia huyo kijana utajua Mungu wangu anajibu na moto. The following day ule kijana akikuja kazi aligongewa na gari hapo na akakufa wewe tusema ah na kuna vitu umeua ni vile ujui mingi hata kwa maisha yako hata kujiangalia tu kusema gaima na nimezeeka umeua urembo juzi hata niliambo oh pasa umenona sitaki kukuambia vile nilijibu Praise the Lord. Unanichekelea na unajua vile wewe unajibu ingukia mbu umenona. Midomo inatafutwa. Ulimi zinatafutwa. Ulimi zinatafutwa. Utatumiaje ulimi wako. Saila unafungua mdomo wako kuonkea. Mantiko inasema umebeba moto na umebeba poison. Watu wamekaa hapa. Wengine wameharibu maisha za watu. Wengine wanafikiria ni msaa. Wakati wanasema it will end in tears. Unafikiria ni msaa, sio msaa. The Bible says your tongue is bringing out curses and it is bringing out blessings. Na James anasema haifai kuwa hivyo. Hiyo hiyo ulimi ambao unasifu nao Mungu hapo umemuimbia ndio utaenda uambie bwana yako hauna hii. Hapa ni empty na ukimwambia ni empty hata kama ilikuwa imejaa shetani huenda anaambia Mungu si Mrs Kenyu amesema bwana yako ni empty siuondoe kwani wewe ufuatangi mambo zao na umesema whatever they shall declare it shall be established so what you declare it shall be established kuanzia leo chunga ulimi kuanzia leo chunga mzee mmoja mhubiri taka nikupatie hizi testimony ndio ujue kuna watu hapa saa hii Mungu akuongeleshe mahali ulianua maisha yako kwa barabara ya uzima hapa kuna watu sia na wacha nikwambie laana umejiletea nitarudia tena hata ukikuja hapa Mr. Mule sitakuvunjia laana zinavunjangwa na ule ameweka unless amekufa tuvunje ndio kwa maana wakati uliita mtoto wako shenzi type sasa ameanza kupata zero unamleta hapa prayers. Ati pastor alikuwa namba one. Sasa ako kule. Nani alimuita Shenzi type? Duke ya Mosheji huyo. Kaulimi. 
Ambea jirani yako kaulimi. Unakatumianga haje. Ukiongea possibilities. Na sio kwako peke yako. Leo staki tu ni gonge kwako peke yako. Hata kwa wale unafanya na wao kazi. Do you know? Kuna watu shetani. Nimesema hata kupanda asira. Ya dakika tano tu. Uchome familia yako yote. Uaribie mtoto wako destiny. Oh roho wa Bwana, uharibie mtoto wako maisha. Unamuita mara mbili. Wagoi! <laughs> Wagoi! Na unajua kuzi watoto wa nyakati za mwisho wa white kange ya kwanza. Wangapo wanajua the last days children they don't answer you the first time you call. They answer at the third time. Wangapo wamefanya hiyo investigation kama mimi. Tena si atia yuko hapo. Unajua anasikia? Anakojea one, two, alafu shetani anakuambia, anakuja anakuambia, ulikuwa hapa na maji, nilikuwa nasikia uko hapa, iyo masikia usiwai sikia tena, iyo imekasa kuni usikia. Usha sema, usha sema, huyo mtuto atakama atakuwa nasikia sauti ya kawaida, hata sikia sauti ya destiny, hata sikia sauti ya mungu, na sometimes, tunaifanya kwa asira. Geukia jirani yako mwambie jirani chunga ulimi. Ninafanyaga counseling sio hapa peke yake. Na unaweza kaa na mtu akikuexplainia jinsi bwana yake alivyo. Una conclude ameolewa na shetani. Ukinyamaza unaona hiyo ushetani ni ya amemuweka. Leo hii hata mtoto wako awe ashiki chochote unafaa kuwa unaelewa ni wewe umemzaa na baba yake ametoka kwa mbegu zenu zile labda hazishikagi that is one kabla hujalaani kabla hujamwambia hizi ni max ngapi unaleta 200 unaletea nani kwanza jiulize wewe ulipata ngapi <laughs> no situongee ukweli mama jo Mtoto amekuja amekwambia mami ah hiyo mahesabu nimeanguka unamuuliza ulikuwa unasomea kwa dirisha We kwanza jiulize hesabu masa, yako ya class 4 ulipata 100% Class 8 tulisikoa ngapi ndio tunakuona tukujue tukutambue Form 4 uliangusha eh ju kila saa unashindwa kukiambia mtoto let me sell you i cannot live with a fool I cannot live with my f- I cannot give my money to educate you and you are not catching. Your mother gave and you are not catching. What is your problem? Listen. Listen. I am a living proof. Mtoto wako anaweza kosa kushika lakini ulimi wako utamgeuza. Ulimi wako kama kulikuwa na ujinga utatoa ujinga uweke uzuri. Nilikuwa mkali kwa wakili wakati alikuwa mdogo na mwambia hata umekuja shule tu Mungu amekuhurumia akakuleta shule ya beikali hata kwa shule ya beikali ushiki ile unakula sausage na sasa kama ungekuwa unakula ile ngumu yani unaongeleza mtoto umemtoa shule unasimamisha gari kwa barabara unamuuliza utasoma ama nikupande mahali anakuambia mami sasa analia siku moja nikiwa kwa barabara na unajua ukiwa single parents Sijui kwa nini tunamwagiaga watoto wasira saa nyingine. Ukikumbuka vile unakanyanga na rabas. Unamletea sira zote za rabas. Unaona miguu zangu vile zimefura? Unaona? Are you seeing? Ni kama yeye alikuambia sasa umzai. What is wrong with us sometimes? Unaona miguu yangu vile imefura? Ni kucheza unacheza na maisha yangu. Unataka nikufe ama ni nini? Na uwezi shika hesabu? African mothers. Ni siku moja nikiwa naendesha tu wakili nikasikia roho wa Mungu ananiambia speak life na kuanzia leo mpatie majina na umuite na umtengeneze na ulimi wako mara ya kwanza jua alikuwa anakuja namba 41 out of 42 ikiwa ni 43 ako 42 42 out of 43 siku moja akakuja 43 nilikuwa nimeshaongeleshwa na Mungu ambe jirani yako ulimi ulimi nikafika shule of course Ukiingia na ndiye amekuja 42 najua lazima atembeni kama sitaki mambo mingi. Unaelewa? Nikamwambia kuja hapa. You are a great man. 
we ni daktari ama wakili ama aposto ama mwalimu akaniambia sitaka kwa mwalimu ama engineer nikamwambia ile jina utasikia nikikuitanga nayo unaitika tu nikamwe encourage nikona amechangamka nikamnunulia chips na sausage ngapi single parents praise the lord <laughs> na sausage ngapi nikamwambia kuanzia leo you are a champion you are a great person na tukaenda home siku moja nikaenda kuhubiri mahali na nikaanza kumuita injilia eh hey, mami ndio huyu amekocha nikamuita majina zote nikamuita apostle tulikuwa tukienda kuhubiri na yeye nikisimama kwa altar nasema na nimekuja na apostle apostle prophet man of god kuja salimia watu anakuja anasalimia watu mpaka siku moja mama mwingine after miaka nyingi alinipigia simu akaniuliza habari ya apostle narudisha sijui kama nimewaishi na aposto unaelewa <laughs> kwa sababu ile introduction nilipeana kwa kanisa yao madhare mpaka leo hajawahi sahau ulimi uli Yesu alisema utazungumzia mlima sio kuombea ku sio kuombea ku utazungumzia mlima na mlima utaondoka Leo katika jina la Yesu. Ulimi wako Mungu wa ubadilishe. Uwe pande ya Mungu, uondoke pande ya shetani. Usiwai laani biashara ya mtu. Usiwai laani ndoa ya mtu. Usi... Biblia inasema wapendao kulaani laana azitoki kwao. Na shetani ni mjanja akikupatia ulimi wa kulaani, wewe utapatanga watu special wa kukulaani. Mulaani wa ulaani. Mlaani watu kila saa ukitembea ndio kwa maana kwa barabara chunguza kwa barabara wakati unatembea unakutananga na watu wa kukutusi ama wa kukuambia god bless you ndio utajua kwa kwa area gani ya maisha unanigongea nini nonsense mtu anapita ukipita kona wachana na nyanya zangu usizipake uchafu unaze yani wewe unaonawa kila mali uchunguze utapata wewe ni muoneaji wewe lakini ukiwa mtu kwa barabara nimejifundisha hata nikienda ina new place new place jawai fika na barikingi hiyo mji nikiingia hivi naanza kusema lord i speak a blessing over this town i bless the people of this town i declare rain will come here in season i declare they will not die premature death na mimi nikienda kila mali oh my god woman of god god bless you kuna god bless you zinatuweka hai na kuna zile nakwambia nda kufundisha zitakuua haraka wale wanapenda kufundisha watu funzo bwana sifiwe <laughs> hati utajua Mungu wangu ana anajibu na moto watu ambao hubariki watu na kinywa chao Mungu huwaletea watu wa kubariki watu ambao upenda watoto wa watu genuinely panda mapenzi panda maisha mazuri na ulimi wako usiende kwa mtoto wa mtu wakati mama yake yuko ndo namwambia oh dora mwa mwa mama yake akitoka anaambia songa mbali songa mbali songa mbali songa mbali songa mbali songa mbali nataka kupatia watoto wangu chakula songa mama yake akiingia dora utakula maembe <laughs> mimi kutoka kitambo nimekuwa na attachment na watoto na kuambia wakati mtoto wangu aligongwa na gari nikiwa nime, nimetoka Tanzania kuhubiri akaenda akagongwa na gari Mungu alimrusha kwa mikono ya msichana tulikuwa tunasoma na yeye Hamjui hajui ni mtoto wangu akakimbia na yeye Kenyata na akapoteza kazi yake akishughulikia wakili wakili akiwa class 7 What am I saying hapa ndacho mtu ndio chata kachovuna Hebu tufungue Ephesians chapter 4 Ulimi ambie jirani yako ulimi ulimi Unaongea ganini na hiyo ulimi? Unasema ganini? Naomba katika jina la Yesu. Hebu tusome Mathayo. Mathayo, I wish kuna mtu angenisomea tuende kwa haraka. Mathayo chapter 12 and verse 34 to 37. The Bible says these are the words of the Lord. Jesus says, "Broad of vipers. How can you being evil speak good things?" For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. 
A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. But I say to you that for every idol word, for what? For what? Men may speak. They will give account of it in the day of judgment. Out of the abundance of the heart. How can you conquer the tongue? You can only conquer the tongue by putting good things in your heart. Kwa nikatika moyo kinywa usungumza. Moyo wako kiwa umeja mungu. Utapata kila saa utembe hapo unabariki watu. Moyo wako kiwa umeja roo mtakatifu. Hauta wai tumia ulimi wako vibaya. Utataka kuambia mtu. Niliona kwa biblia maandiko inasema. Ata wale wanaitana mjinga. Watachomwa kwa moto wa milele. The Bible says Jesus said do not call your fa- your brother a fool because them that call them that way they will spend eternity in hell. Kaulimi. Kwa sababu kita mtu mjinga anakuwa mjinga. Especially kwanza we umeokoka saa hii. Nataka u exercise the authority, the power ya ulimi wako kuanzia saa hii mpaka December. Utaniambia kama hautaolewa. Kama hautapata kazi. Ukijiangalia kwa Mi nakumbuka before I got married kuna mtu alinipigia simu nikamwambia by the way naolewa. Ai. Kaambia bila lazima niolewe. Sijui ilitoka hapa. Na nikasema kama mzaa kumbe haikuwa mzaa. Wacha nikwambie hata katika mzaa uovu utendeka. Ndio Biblia inaita nini? Just what? Just joking something like that in Ephesians. Kwa maana Mungu anajua hiyo ulimi usipoichunga itakuharibia watoto wako. Usifanye hata mzaa nao. Umwambie mbona una macho kama ya nguruwe? Ati ndio watu wacheke. Usifanye mzaa na hiyo ulimi. Hiyo ulimi ukipeleka direction ya shetani kila wakati itakupelekanga direction ya shetani. Na kuanzia saa hii mpaka mwezi wa mbili ukitaka kujua ulimi wako una nguvu, badilisha matamshi leo. Hatu, we don't give life in the heart. We give life with the mouth. When I stand here and declare you shall live, it happens. It is the tongue that gives life. Especially the tongue of a believer. It carries power that has speed. So when you wake up in the morning and you declare this is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Full stop. You have directed your tongue in the right direction. In this world, you will not miss people who will discourage you. Who will tell you the way things are not working well. As you find yourself because you have to live among them. Mutu wakuja kukuambia mina sikia kufunga biyashara. Kwa sababu ni kuisha inaisha. Usimuambia ata kwetu kuko hivyo. Na unajua kuko hivyo. Unaroga. Tunajua kuna watu wanapenda kutoshana na wale wengine. Nikuja nikuambia charity bana. Nisaidia na elfu kumi bana. Unajua kwangu bana kuna kitu. Na ukona hiyo elfu kumi lakini so unataka kunionyesha wea. Atupa, unanembe. Ata huku kuko hivi, ata mini kuwa nafikiria kukuomba. Unalaani zile kidogo huko nazo. Wacha kucheza na ulimi. Wale watu wasina pesa. Wako wapi wale watu wasina pesa? Mtoto anakuja na kuombe mamini meona sports shoes moja kali sina do. Demo unasema una inafaya nini? Na we unona ni kama kitu ya kawaida. Wapendwa, nimetumwa na mungu kukwa zungumzia leo. Hiyo ulimi utakula mema yake ama utakula mabaya yake. Maandiko inasema imebeba wema ama mabaya. Kuanzia leo tumia hiyo ulimi kuingia kwa biashara yako. Tangaza useme leo nitafanya kazi kwa hii duka. Nita, kama unauzaka kama umesimama, nitasimama mpaka nitoke kwa kufanya kazi. Leo kwa hii duka watu wataingia bila kuisha. Leo kwa hii biashara, hii Hata uweza kuisungumzia hii biashara ndio itanijengea nyumba. Hii biashara ndio itanibaia gari. Hii biashara ndio itasomesha watoto wangu. Na kuambia ukifanya hivyo for 3 months utaanza kuona maisha yako inabadilika. Siwaambi kile sijafundishwa na roho na ikafanya kazi. Do you know why I stand here and declare over your life? Because witches declare to. Unonanga mimi sijaiona mtu akilaani kule village lakini nasikia anga wanachukuanga wana kitu labda wanamwaga chini. Wanasema Esther Esther 
Ukipita hapa ukufe haraka. Na wamemwaga tu kaunga, ka ugali. Ukikanyanga hii unga ukufe. Na unapita unakanyanga unakufa. Wameongea tu. Je wewe ukishika mtoto wako kila asubuhi mwambie you are a great man. You are a great woman. Wewe nitakuona kwa TV wewe. Wewe nitakuona kwa TV kabla sijazeeka. Nitakuona labda unafanya kitu kikubwa kwa TV. Hautaingia kwa TV kwa kuua mtu. Najua pia kuna kuingia kwa TV na njia nyingi. Oh God forbid in the name of Jesus. Hautaingia kwa kuua bwana ama bibi. Aidha utakuwa mtangazaji. Aidha utakuwa wakili mkuu. Aidha utakuwa umeshinda mahali fulani. Tukakuona kwa TV Kenya mzima. Ukianza kuwazungumzia saa hii Umwambie acha nikwambie mimi siitaenda sitaenda mbinguni kabla sijai kuona kwa TV niseme nisikie wakili Idris ndiye alikuwa ameshika kesi hiyo na akaitatua hivi yani tu nisikie tu wakili Idris oh my si nilisema utaingia kwa TV bwana asifiwe unaona hao wasichana wako unawaonanga wakikimbia kimbia ni kama uji watapatia wapi mimba unaona hao wasichana wakwanga everywhere Oh ma'am. Oh ma'am. Unaona wasichana? Hmm? Njia tu mzuri ni ya kuongelesha ka kuambia acha nikwambie. Mimi sitashika mtoto wako wa kutoka kule sijui. We utatembea kanisani ukifanya harusi. Rusha rusha miguu lakini we ni wa harusi. Hapana kumwambia, "Ah, kimbia ulete mtoto hapa utanishangaa." Umeanza kumpatia rusa. Si unajua kuna watu kama hao? Vile nimeanza kuona ukirusharusha miguu ni dalili ya kuleta watoto hata mimi nilianza hivyo nikaleta wacha nikwambie uh-uh. speak different to what your mother said to you Bwana asifiwe mtoto huyo unamwita unamwambia you are a great woman mimi i cannot give up on you wewe wewe utaolewa na harusi na utaolewa na mtu wa mahali fulani wa, wa kungangana no utachukuliwa hapa na V8 Unajua pia mahali mtoto wako anaolewa pia ina mata. Kama utaendelea na maombi mpaka kufa ama uta enter rest. <laughs> Unajua unaweza kuwa intercessor forever. Yaani umeintercede sasa iwe mwenyewe ukatoa kakichwa hivi mama jo na bado unaendelea na intercession. Oh father. Ju kila saa unapigiwa simu mami. Hatuna chakula. Mami, tumefungiwa nyumba. Mami mtoto anakoa ni kama atakufa na hakuna pesa ya dawa. Unaona utakuwa tu oh raba baba baba. Yaani utazeeka upate wrinkles hata utaki kwenda mbinguni juu juu utawaacha aje. Saa hii ndio wakati. Unaambia Mungu ni yake yake kwa sababu nikienda njokia meisha. Na unakuwa inta- let me tell don't take it for granted. Saa hii ndio unaanza kuwaombea unaambia wacha nikwambie kuja hapa precious kuja hapa. Wewe utaolewa na, na mtu wako na pesa mingi sana. Kwa sababu mimi nataka nikizeeka unanipeleka out. Ukiweka hiyo imani kwake. Kama mtoto wangu anajua kuna categories hawezi niletea. Pia una categorize. Mbona niishi kwa maombi charity? Yaani ni kuongelea akili yako ianze kushika ukwe loya. Bado tuna ni kuongelea ukae vizuri na bibi yako. Oh msichana ukimleta hapa she can pray in tongues. Tunashirikiana kimaombi. Sio mimi nimwambia you born again. Can you receive Jesus? Na nioroka kwa kwa mani. Rita hey, my corrado shataya. It will not be our portion in Jesus name. I say it will not be our portion. Hey. Shoka yanda. God I rebuke I refuse. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Si utumie ulimi saa hii. Mtoto akiingia unamwambia oh my daughter millionaire come wewe ndio utanijengea nyumba ya tatu We utajenga ya pili sababu mimi ndajenga ya kwanza We utajenga ya muranga We utajenga ya ukambani kule kwa baba yako utajenga tutafikiria kule tutaenda kulala Huyo mtoto ukimuongelesha hivyo siku moja atakuletea Mercedes Kuna kasichana niliona kwa internet wanaishi UK ni wa Nigeria kaliletea mama yake Mercedes ile kubwa inakaa kama hari ya Mercedes kaka kuja kaka, kaka mtoa kwa nyumba kamemfunga macho mommy it is your birthday i have a surprise for you 
Ah watoto si ati walishukishwa kutoka juu. Walipushi vile wao ulipushi. Ina depend vile unawalea na ulimi. Kona mama amefungwa macho. Mama ndio huyo. Anasema oh what is it? Oh mom come. Mom come na marafiki zake. Oh mom keep coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Mama akafunguliwa. Na haikuwa tu gari ya Mercedes. Alipotolewa akapatiwa funguo. Ndani ya hiyo gari the next seat ilikuwa imejaa dollars. Mingi hivi. Kamea mami, I can't thank you enough for raising me to be a woman that I am today. I really appreciate you. Mimi nikajishika hivi nikajiuliza. Nitawaiambiwa hivyo na wakili siku moja. Ama ataniambia mami unajua kuna vita ulinigonga. Tuambie jirani yako begin to speak. I want you to get this word because it will work for you. The Bible says let not corrupt words come out of your mouth. Ephesians. Let's go there very fast. 429. I am almost done. Ephesians 429. Twende hapo kwa haraka. Nikitaja scripture ukipata before me project itakuwa mzuri by next Sunday. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 29. The Bible says this. Mhm. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearer Usitake ma nimekuambia mambo ya ulimi usitake maneno maovu maovu yatoke kwenye kichwa chako ikitoka itoke ya kujenga na kuachilia neema kwa anaisikiliza kwa hivyo maneno pia uachilia neema for example nitumie violet's mama you are so cute you are so beautiful wow unaona ameanza wow hiyo ndio naongea kuhusu grace unamuuliza umenoneshwa na nini na vile unaka pesa hiyo iko na neema hiyo iko na neema Ninakupatianga little little examples. Violet stand up. You are so pretty. You are gorgeous. You are beautiful. You look so nice. I love your heart. Thank you for being a blessing. Thank you for cooking tea for me every day. Oh, anataka kulia. Umeona? Hiyo ndio maneno iko na neema. Na maandiko amesema hiyo ndio inafaa kufanya nini? Kutoka msichana wako anaingia ametoka shule unamwambia oh come in mommy you look so beautiful wow you are so gorgeous you are growing to be a very beautiful girl you are so intelligent wow hey, you've dressed so well ako kasichana akawezi letewa shida na kijana huko nje ulishaka afam unaringa uko na nini wewe Karagwave I'm so beautiful. My mom said, "Who are you?" Wetu maneno mazuri. Kwa maana maneno ni kisu. Kwa maana Biblia inasema tang inaweza kutan kuwa poison. Kuna mtu mama yake alimwambia ujui kupika utaolewa na nani. Hata akienda kwa rafiki yake alimwambia, "Guy, wewe pika tu." Kwa sababu hana confidence. Lakini leo nikikwambia umepika, mwa. Chumvi ndio utapunguza kidogo. Hata wewe unasikia anga? Oh my. Bwana siwe. Hata naweza sema hii kwa humility. Mke wako akikuwa mzuri kwako. Akutengeneze chakula za aina yote vizuri. Unaelewa za aina yote. Hapana kukaa ni kama haukuenjoy. Mwambie tu unito ilio tu. Mwambie ka kitu. Asikie nimeolewa. Bwana kwa akikuja hapo amejisukumia amelipa nyumba amekuja na shopping amelipa school fees wacha kujifanya hauoni maneno mazuri hutia mtu nguvu ya kuendelea kufanya vizuri appreciation appreciate hata kama amekuja na kidogo si amekuja na kitu na hata kama atakuja nayo mwambie i trust you wewe utanunulia ndege siku moja Huyo mwanaume atatoka heri aende akapagie watu viatu rangi. 
Akunitaki kitu juu limwambia atakununulia ndege. Bana kumwambia mwanaume saa ngapi? We ni mwanaume namba ngapi? Ujaona wanaume kwa social media? Wale wananunulia watu magari who are you? What mistake is this? Kesho yake umemtoa pumzi kabisa. Je, <laughs> Colossians Colossians chapter 4 verse 6 write it down because we want to pray Colossians chapter 4. Ambia jirani yako kuanzia leo. Maneno ijae neema. Kwa maana ulimi inajenga. Amen. Wangapi wanasema wataenda kuzungumzia watoto wao? Mtaftie kajina. Amen. Mtaftie kajina muite wakili mkuu, muite kitu. Hata kwa simu yangu nimesave mtoto wangu wakili mkuu. Pana kumsave kwa simu sumbua alafu na muita wakili. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. The Bible says, walk in wisdom. Chapter 5, verse 5. Walk in wisdom towards those that are outside redeeming time. Let your speech always be with grace. Seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Ha. Let your words be seasoned with salt. Yani tu maneno tutamu na kuombea katika jina la Yesu hata kwa hii kanisa ukisikia watu wanaongea vibaya kuhusu unaambia let me tell you that is an international church usione hivyo uliona mama aliyeka bendera kwa kona ni international tafuta kitu mzuri ya kusema sio kusema hata mimi nilikuwa naona vile unasema ni kama ndivyo hivyo na bado unakuja hapa kesho hautapata neema tunajua watu kama wakembo hiyo kanisa ni kama Aiko sawa. Unasema unajua hata situko huko. Kwa nini unanikonfirmia what I am feeling? The enemy can manipulate your feelings. Even feeling like killing a person is feeling. Do you kill? When you feel like killing. Unajua mama wetu wa kitambo alikuwa anasema ndakuua na nikuziki. Wangapi walizaliwa na African mothers wa hizo wakati? Walikuwa hata ukijaribu kumwambia kitu mwambie. Sikuizi na unanga hata watoto wanaambiaga wazazi wao, "Mom, I'm not doing it now. I'll do it later." Sisi ungetoa maneno kama hiyo wapi? Jua hata kwa kwa roho haikuwa. <laughs> Wangapi wanajua haikuwa kwa roho? Ama ulikuwa naye wewe? Ukiambiwa nyabura. Yes ma'am. Chukua hizi kuni, peleka nyuma. Hauwezi mwambie utafanya lita. Hiyo ni matusi. Neko ni morano ma. Sasa umeanza kunitukana. Jua utaki kusemekana umetukana. Tusiwe kama wa mama wa zamani. Na unajua unaweza kuwa hivyo mama jo. Unaenda kugonga mtoto kumbe amefika teenagers na kushika mkono. Unachukua hiyo mkono unajiwekelea niwe. Sio ndio mpango. Si nilikuwa najua tu wewe ndio utakuja kunimaliza mali. <laughs> Tunafanya watoto wanajichukia. And yet if you are surviving today, Mungu alitupenda. Nani ya kuona mama kama huyo kwa maisha yake? Unajua watu kuanzia 1990s Mungu awabariki kwa maana mmepata wa mama wale wa Oh baby. Hiyo so cute ka baba. Sisi tulikuwa tunalelewa kwa military camp. Na sasa hii ndio unaona bado tuko na warfare azijaisha. Ukijibu tu mama yako ndafanya kesho. Sasa umetoa matiti tukatosana nao. We are like this. <laughs> ni ukweli ama ni uongo? Hata yeah. baba yako ungemwambia dadi una anakuambia oh, nimekupeleka ukatairi tupigane. Doge oke oka oka ojorage. Kuja uniue. <laughs> ah ah. The Bible says let your words be seasoned with salt. Ziwe na neema kwa msikilizaji. Ah ah. Yaani maneno yetu yakiwa kwa na neema kwa msikilizaji hata ule client rafiki yetu mmoja alituchekesha mamake anafanya bibi yake anafanya biashara so tukaenda hapo kwa duka akatoza aka kutuambia unajua my wife anajua mimi si mfanyi biashara mimi hata mtu anakujanga hapa namwambia socks ni 50 ananiambia kuna ya dhati namwambia enda soko ya kule chini <laughs> Akaanza kutuambia vile bibi yake anamuitanga pole pole anamwambia customers hawauzi yangu hivyo. So mimi nikiwa hapo kukaingia na customer na mke wake ametoka. 
akamuuliza eh kuna ile dascot eh dascot iko kuna size yangu apron eh akavaa ikakuwa fupi kidogo akamuuliza hii dust apron naweza kufungua hapa chini hebu niona akaangalia akaona ifunguke akachua kairusha akasema haiwezi na akaenda nikaambia kijana kama hii apron ni fit hakuna haja ivurute chini hii apron ni fit akaniambia madam iko sawa unajua alipata nimeuza so in short <laughs> kuna watu hapa si ati Mungu hajakubariki na biashara <laughs> what did i say mtu anakuja tu kununua vizuri nguo zako vizuri unauza aje skirt ni 200 si so, unifanyie 100 nenda kwa re <laughs> na unamwacha hapo na hiyo skirt So mwambie Zamia sijaleta. Zamia zinaweza kuja labda next week. But for now, hizi ni za Una unauzaje blouse? Mia sita. Uwezi shuka? Supermarket una bargaining? <laughs> Anakuambia hii si supermarket. Wewe ndio utaniambia duka yangu kama ni supermarket ama sio supermarket. Unajuaje kama naanza supermarket? Ulime. Umeanza kujipata? Wacha nikwambie kitu ile nifanyikie jana. Jana sikuwa nasikia kuongea sana na simu. Nikapigiwa na dada mwingine kwa barabara. Napatanga simu nyingi si za hapa, nyingi za ngambo za wapi. Halo? Wewe ndio ule Zainab nimeona YouTube. Nikamwambia ni mimi nikusaidie na nini? Are you sure ni wewe? Ndajuaje ni wewe? Oh my god. Ingekuwa wewe ungekata simu. Ushindo unataka kunisumbulia nini? Nikasonga simu nyingine ya pili, nikamalizana na huyo. Hello? Is that Reverend Zainab? Oh yes, how can I help you? Are you the same Reverend Zainab? Aja. Nikamwambia Bishop Ozea kuna shetani ya kunikasirisha hewani. Nimesema ni mimi. Kwa nini unataka kuconfirm? Nikatoka hapo. Mwingine akanipigia simu. Woman of God. Mimi nimechomekewa, kila kitu imeisha. Si uchukue dakika kadhaa uni encourage. Mimi nilikuwa nataja encouragement at that time. Ndio nimesumbuliwa na watu wangapi? Kamwambia Mungu anaweza kajikaza nikamu encourage so by the time ilikuwa inafika jioni nilikuwa nimesema sitachukua simu nitakuandikia kindly text it okay na text ni better kuliko kuniuliza kama ukweli ni mimi na unioni sana moja akanipigia simu siwe zangi kukosa kuchukua simu nikaangalia nikasikia kitu inaniambia wachana na hii simu yani akili unajua pia akili Alafu nikasema na kama ako na emergency nikachukua na nilikuwa inalia tu ndio 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 na yangalia tu alafu nataka kukufundisha nikachukua simu guess what ananiambia bradhangu alikuwa anataka kukutumia pesa kutoka Canada akakuambia hizo pesa hazikuwa zinaenda through eh, ni kwa ni reverend Zainab huyu eh ni mimi wacha nikutumie kama singechukua simu ningepata pesa ya Canada nusikwambie hivyo uone niko na pesa mingi haikukua mingi sana usinifuate baada ya ibada no testimony drake nikaushuhuda proverbs namalizia proverbs <laughs> proverbs 15 verse 1 the bible says a, a soft answer turns away wrath hebu tusome proverbs alafu tumalize Ulimi, ulimi. Tell your neighbor ulimi. Bwana asifiwe. Usiwe unakasirisha Mungu ati wewe ndio uta, utazungumzia watu vibaya kila saa. Na unajua kuna watu wamepakwa na shetani wa kuzungumzia vibaya. Unamwambia, "Hebu nipite." Si unipitie juu. <laughs> na sana sana wa, madriver kwa barabara wana hiyo lugha. 
na unajua nimekuja kujua tu sio ulimi saa nyingine hata kuna watu wanaongea na matendo unampigia huyu anakuambia na kurejea pia kuna vidole zile zinaongea anga ambia jirani yako Mungu akupe neema mwambie tena Mungu akupe neema maneno yako kuanzia leo yawe ni mazuri Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 a soft answer turns away wrath but a harsh words stir up anger nataka hasa hasa niongeleshe wadada bwana Yesu asifiwe mbona amen zimekuwa chache bwana Yesu asifiwe wa binti wa zayuni <laughs> naona ni niwaite jina gani nyingine bwana Yesu asifiwe daughters of zion Bwana Yesu asifiwe women of God. Amen. Bado aiongezeke. Kuna maneno ingine. <laughs> Na sana sana wamama ndio tunapenda kuendelesha. Bwana yako tu amekuja akakuambia, "Hai. Nini nasikia inanuka kwa nyumba?" Oh, hii ndio inanukaga mavi. Zile unaenda kule. <laughs> No tuongee wa mama tuongee. Tuongee tusiongee. Women of God, Bwana asifiwe. Nataka kujua kama tuko together. Bwana kwa ameingia bedroom, hakuwa na maneno mingi. Babe. Oh yeah. Bwana nasikia huku kuna kaarufu sielewi. <laughs> Nimi unatafuta ama ni harufu unatafuta. So that means mimi ni mchafu. That means nimekunia chini ya kitanda. No, the way you are bringing it is like Unaendelea, unaendelea, unaendelea. Maandiko inasema hizo majibu unajibu zinaleta asira. Na hizo zikuangi na wanaume sana. Wanaume wanakuwa wataratibu. Mwanaume haizi kuuliza swali. Aizi kuliza kwa nini hujanyoa makopa? Yaani yeye aizi kuliza kwa sababu akikuliza oh kule umetoka kuna kwa kumenyolewa kama airport. So you are coming now for comparison my brother. What do you want from me? Sema tu kile unataka. Inakuanga ikuangi. Na nakwambia utapelekwa uta upelekwe 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 mpaka ndugu mtoto wa watu. Mtoto wa watu aanze kukwambia pole I didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. Umetoka huko umekula nyama. Inatolewa kwa makwapa. Inapelekwa jikoni. Juu sisi ndiyo sungura. Hiyo sio nyama unanuka. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh one stirs Anka, I pray for us today. Hata majibu ambao tutajibu watu. Jamani ijae neema. Hata kama ni katoto kadogo, kamekuja kukuzumbua mami mami, mami mami nipatie maji, kaongeleshe tu na maneno ya neema. Nimekuja kujua watu wamejaa maneno ya neema, wamejaa kibali. Wapi? Unataka niseme kwa mti ama si ni kwa class? Unashika? Unaongea kitu mpaka mtu anashindwa why are you so rude Mtu akikuuliza ulisomea wapi Si utamwambia ulisomea Kiambu Unamwambia si nilisomea kwa class Mimi si kusomea chini ya mti Na inakuwa ni tabia Naomba katika jina la Yesu Neno hili la Mungu litaponya ndoa zetu Neno hili la Mungu litaponya watoto wetu Neno hili la Mungu litaponya lata glory Neno hili la Mungu litaponya taifa Tukiwa watu wa kutumia ulimu zetu vizuri. Hebu tusimame tuinulie Mungu mikono. Oh randa basaya. Rosha la makatalaba. Inua tu mikono yako. David said let the set a guard upon my mouth oh Lord. Inua mikono. Alijua uchungu wa ulimi. 
alijua madhara ya ulimi akamwambia Mungu niweke watchman katika mdomo wangu niweke break katika ulimi wangu hebu inua hiyo mikono mbele za Bwana kuna watu wanahangaishwa na ulimi kuna watu ulimi umetufanyia madhara umefanyia wengine madhara umetuharibia ndoa umetuharibia watoto umetuharibia mabiashara lift up your hands before the Lord enda mbele za Bwana Bwana mahali ulimi wangu ulitumiwa na shetani hata kulaani bila kujua bahali ulimi wangu ulitumika kuongelea watoto wetu maneno mazito enda mbele za Bwana just lift up your hands and tell the Lord to sanctify your tongue hiyo ulimi imekubebea uzima imebebea jirani yako uzima oh si unaweza kuongelea jirani yako aishi na ataishi si unaweza bariki watoto wake si unaweza bariki biashara yake si unaweza bariki nyumba yake si unaweza bariki lata glory si unaweza tumia hiyo ulimi kujenga kuliko kubomoa si unaweza patia mtu hope kuliko kumpatia depression si unaweza patia mtu nguvu na hiyo ulimi radosa ta rakayando rabazataya unaweza jipatia uzima pia unaweza patia biashara yako uzima usiseme hakuna pesa sema umebarikiwa usiseme tunaisha sema tunaendelea oh let the weak say i'm strong let the poor say i'm rich inua mikono mahali umewahi jiongelelea hata ukiwa peke yako oh ukasikia shetani anataka ujilaani ukaanza kulaani watoto wako ukiwaita wapumbavu ukiwaita wa shames shetani amechukua hayo maneno katika ulimi huo umebomoa tayari anza kujenga na huyo ulimi shakato rabaganta yesu alisema kilindini kwa moyo kuna toka maneno baba wacha moyo wangu upate chemichemi ya maji ya uzima enda mbele za bwana i hear god people should cleanse their mouth right now hiyo kitu kidogo umeweka kwa, kwa mdomo ilikuwa ndio ikupatie uzima ilikuwa ndio ilete uzima kwa watoto wako hiyo ndio inafaa kuleta baraka kwa nyumba yako hata wakati bwana yako hana usimlaani bariki hata wakati watoto wako hawaendi vizuri usiwalaani wabariki hiyo ulimi imebeba nguvu hiyo ulimi imebeba nguvu biblia inasema ni kiumbe kidogo lakini madhara yake ni mengi hiyo ulimi inaweza kukufanya uwe na unajisi na hiyo ulimi inaweza kukutakatisha ni kwa kukiri na vinywa vyetu na kuamini kwa roho zetu tunaokolewa enda mbele za bwana mahali ulimi wangu umeninajisi bwana ninatobo mahali ulimi wangu umeniletea madhara kama mwanadamu bwana ninatobo ninatengeneza maisha yangu natangaza mimi ni shujaa natangaza mimi ni mkoo natangaza mimi ni mtumishi wa bwana natangaza roda sota rakazola rabo sataya mtoto wangu ataubiri injili shenda roda saya enda mbele za bwana enda mbele za bwana horado oh, sataya set a god oh god over my mouth set a god oh god kuna watu nasikia bwana anasema hiyo ulimi umelaani watoto nayo hiyo ulimi muongelea watoto wako mambo mazito wameteseka kwa ajili yako na haujui wameteseka kwa ajili ya maneno yako wao oh, umesema they can never be anything hiyo ulimi imeharibu biashara hiyo ulimi imeharibu maisha enda mbele za bwana nataka kusikia ukiomba rando sala kataya rando ndoze leba kataya omba omba ombea ulimi wako kuna watu hapa wangekuwa mbali lakini ulimi wako umekupin down umekuweka mahali pamoja nasikia Mungu anasema kuna watu hapa wameongelea watoto wao anza kuwabariki mbele ya madhabahu hayo na bariki o oh, wakili na kubariki na maisha marefu wakili utaishi miaka nyingi wakili utafanikiwa kwenye nchi ya walio hai wakili hautaona shida wakili hautaoa mke wa kukusumbua wakili utamtumikia Mungu wangu wakili utamtukabudu Mungu wangu shakando radosi taya rantola maradasa ta enda mbele za Bwana enda mbele za Bwana niumbie moyo safi niumbie moyo mpya moyo wa kunyenyekea na kuondeka mbele zako Ni umie moyo safi. Ni umie moyo mpya. Moyo wa kunyenyekea. Ni katika moyo maneno yanatoka. 
Nasalimisha watu hawa mikononi mwako. Walio chilaani watakase. Walio laani ndoa zao zinapitia changamoto. Komboa hizo ndoa. Walio laani biashara zao bila kujua ama kulaani watu wengine na maisha mafupi. Kuharibu ndoa za watu kwa ulimi wetu. Kuharibu biashara za watu kwa ulimi wetu. Bwana tunaomba utakase wale wamewahi ombea wengine wakafa bwana waondolee judgment ya mada enda mbele za bwana sahi jipeleke bila viombo tu mbele za bwana enda mbele za bwana ambia roho mtakatifu akukumbushe dame julizo zifanya na ulimi wako uko kwenye madhabahu haya matakatifu ili usamehewe ili utakasike ili usiwe na judgment juu ya maisha yako kulaani vitu vinatendeka you are not a hero you are just an agent of the devil enda mbele za bwana jitakase 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 roho mtakatifu tukumbushe mahali tulisema hatutaki watoto wetu wae wahubiri ama watumishi wa Mungu kwa sababu ya changamoto watakuwa watumishi watahubiri injili enda mbele za bwana roho akukumbushe roho akukumbushe oh randosa la kataya roho akukumbushe tengeneza maisha sahi kwa sababu kuna madhabahu haya usichukulie mzaha maneno haya kwa maana ni maneno ya uzima yatabadilisha maisha yako kuanzia leo zungumzia hiyo biashara unaiambia kila asubuhi wewe si utakufa biashara yangu hautakufa biashara yangu utaishi biashara yangu utazaa matunda biashara yangu utakuwa biashara international zungumzia watoto wako wataishi miaka nyingi wazungumzie mahali umefanya makosa enda mbele za bwana roho mtakatifu tukumbushe roho mtakatifu kumbusha watu wako roho mtakatifu watu waliotukanana wakatukanana matusi mabaya mabaya wakaharibu maisha ya watu na matusi wakaita washenzi wakawaita wajinga wakawaita majina mabaya mabaya leo tumekuja kwa madhabahu yako tunatubu dhambi zetu zote tunatubu matusi tuliyotoa ulimi wetu tukautumia kwa matusi ulimi wetu tukautumia kwa laana ulimi wetu tukautumia kuvunja ndoa ulimi wetu tukautumia vibaya hebu enda mbele za bwana kabla sijakutakasa enda mbele za bwana we mwenyewe ukitubu nitakuwa na nguvu ya kukuombea kwa maana umetubu enda mbele za bwana utakapotoka kwa hii kanisa kila wakati Mungu akukumbushe hili neno tumia ulimi wako vizuri sio wa masengenyo sio wa kubackbite watu biblia inasema wasengenya nao Mungu anawapanish kwa hivyo usitumie hiyo ulimi kusengenya usitumie hiyo ulimi kubackbite watu kuna watu umewauma wauma mgongo karibu umalize migongo yao kwa sababu ya kuwa backbiter naomba katika jina la Yesu kama kuna midomo ambayo imekula watu nyuma tunaomba kwa jina la Yesu itakasike kama kuna backbiters watakasike kama kuna ruma mongaras watakasike kama kuna watu ambao wanatoa uzushi watakasike kama kuna watu wanaongea vibaya kuhusu watumishi wa Mungu na wamejibebea laana na hiyo ulimi watakasike wale ambao wameongea vibaya kuhusu watumishi wa Mungu wakawaita wakora wakawaita majina mabaya hiyo midomo itakasike kwa sababu imebeba laana enda mbele za Bwana jitakase 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 baba ulimi
mimi wangu na utoa wakfu sitasengenya yoyote sitawai laani mtu yoyote sitawai zungumza maovu na mabaya nitakaso mahali nimewai laani ama nikazungumza maovu ama nikafanya dhambi za ulimi huu ambao umeharibu ambao umeharibu maisha ama ukaharibu vitu tunaomba kwa jina la Yesu tutakasike leo kila mmoja inamishe kichwa chake chini mbele za Bwana wekelea mikono kwenye kifua chako zungumzia moyo wako Yesu alisema kilicho ndani ya moyo ndio kinatoka kwenye ulimi moyo wangu ja Mungu moyo wangu ja neno la Bwana moyo wangu pokea neema ya Mungu hebu ombea huo moyo ni wako uombe utoe bitterness utoe hatred utoe anger ndio kinywa chako kisitoe laana just pray for your heart right now oh my heart you shall flow life oh my heart you shall flow life oh my heart you shall bless your husband all my heart you shall bless my children both spiritual and physical wote wamebarikiwa roho yangu mimi sitawai laani mtu wa kanisa sitawai laani uzao wa tumbo wangu tumbo ya kiroho na tumbo ya kimwili sitawai ongea roho yangu usiwai weka bitterness usiwai beba anger and forgiveness achilia chemi chemi ya maji ya uzima kila mmoja inamisha kichwa chini kama haujaokoka na uko hapa kama haujaokoka Yesu anataka kukuokoa kama hujaokoka labda unatuwatch kwa LGC TV ama uko hapa na haujaokoka Yesu anataka kukuokoa inamisha uso wako panda itakapopigwa leo ama kitu ikufanyikie saa hii uwe tena hauna uhai utaingia wapi utaingia mbinguni ama utaingia jahanamu Yesu akirudi saa hii uko tayari kumuona Mungu kama kuna mtu hajaokoka katikati yetu na unaweza penda kuokoka ili wakati wako njoo kwa Bwana njoo kwa Yesu tembea tu uje uokoke kama unataka kuokoka na kupatia nafasi ya kuokoka utapewa maisha mapya utasamehewa dhambi zako zote kitabu chako cha maisha kitaandikwa fresh utaanza maisha masafi na Yesu kama uko hapo labda umeanguka ume backslide na unasema unataka kuokoka kuja hapa mbele nitakuombea katika jina la Yesu kama hakuna mtu anataka kuokoka hapa acha niwabariki inua mikono may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord be gracious to you may his face shine upon you and may the lord give you peace in jesus name amen mungu awabariki tukutane on wednesday amen